to Fire Up, Scarborough High School's weekly news program, bringing you the latest school announcements, sports updates, weather, town news, and special features each week. This is the news for September 14th through September 20th, 2011. I am Busy Morell, a senior here at SHS. And I am Trevor LaRose. I'm also a senior at SHS. Let's get started with the news. Okay, this week's school announcements are as follows. The first Pink Ribbon Club meeting of the year will be this Thursday in Ms. Markowski's room, G205, at 2.15 sharp. Join us for another great year of raising money and awareness for the cure! In sports news, Scarborough Field Hockey has started their season strong. They've earned wins against McCauley, Bonnie Eagle, and Westbrook, outscoring opponents 12-1. to Please show your support to the field hockey team. Next home game against fierce competitor Sanford on September 14th at 6 p.m. Scott Tebow led the Red Storm Friday night in a 21-6 win against Wyndham. Tebow scored two touchdowns and rushed for 274 yards on 28 carries. In town of Scarborough News, a field of six candidates have emerged for four vacant seats on the town council. Councilors Karen D'Andrea, Ronald Alquist, and Richard Sullivan are seeking re-election. They are joined on the ballot by Paul Andrioli, James Benedict, and Kerry Corthell. Town of Scarborough officials have stated that Scarborough will allow residents to use fireworks and have them for sale in local businesses, even though many towns and cities are strongly against the recently passed state law. Creative Works Systems will host its Celebrate Yes! Festival of the Arts from 5.30 to 8 p.m. Thursday, September 15th at Camp Ketcha. The celebration will feature performances by CWS members, food, and a silent auction. Entertainment will include the Grass Holes, Bluegrass <laughs> Band, and comedy by Reifer and Saccone. Today's Red Storm Spotlight features include the new school store and a couple of students that will be helping to get it off the ground. We will be speaking with Stephen Kimball regarding their efforts and what to expect at the school store. I'm Stephen Kimball and I'm in uh, entrepreneurship period two. I'm Sam Weir and I'm in his class. And we're opening up a school store which is going to be open during breaks and after school. And we'll be selling uh, school supplies like pencils, erasers, notebooks. And, but we'll also be selling t-shirts and uh, drinks like Gatorade. Uh, we'll have this price list price list up around the school. We'll also have these QR codes. The QR codes are uh, codes that look like what you see on at like products at stores. And they when one of the cashiers check them out, but you can scan these with your phone or any kind like iPods that have cameras. There's apps you can download. For some phones, it comes as a standard app. And all you need to do is scan it. And some of them have websites, codes, lists, and cool things that you can see. And for this week's weather, Wednesday, partly cloudy with a high of 78. Thursday, showers with a high of 65. Friday, partly cloudy and a high of 63. Saturday, and a high of 63 again. And Sunday, sunny and a high of 66. Monday, mostly cloudy and a high of 66. And Tuesday, partly cloudy and a high of 67. Thank you for joining us this week for, for Fire Up! Fire Up. <laughs> Have, a Have a great, great week! week. <laughs>